Hello everyone, my name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified, which is a ministry that's dedicated to encouraging others to experience the sovereign love of the one true God who has qualified us to be his beloved ones. I was just about to edit this video you're about to watch and I realized I never made a proper intro. So here is your intro. Um, this is a vlog that's just showing you guys the behind the scenes journey of publishing my fifth book which is The God Who Knows Me, a companion devotional and journal to my debut novel called The One Who Knows Me. I have two other novels published called The One Who Loves Me and The One Who Sees Me and another devotional called Outpourings of a Beloved Heart. On this channel, we talk about faith, entrepreneurship and lifestyle. So you're going to be seeing all the ups and downs in this author business entrepreneurship journey. So there you go. Enjoy the vlog. <laughs> Okay, so this is the formatting journey that I've gone through after I finished reading it on Google Docs and um, downloading the file. Um, I have basically uploaded it here to Vellum and that's the um, cover right there as you can see. I made this title page myself to kind of match the font on the cover um, and then that's title page number two which I like doing for my books for whatever reason and then you have contents you have the copyright page also by Joan and Bova the list is growing Woohoo! I can't believe this is going to be my fifth book guys this is crazy and then because it's the ebook version I like to always put an about the book section where um, you can just read like the blurb there that's the book the devotional and then dedication is the same dedication like in the one who knows me and then that is the introduction so the introduction goes on uh, it's very short and then you have chapter one obviously that's a sneak peek into chapter one what i'm doing is um as you can see that you can i can also do the print version for this as well from vellum but i'm not going to use vellum suggestions for the print i'm making the print myself on canva and I'm going to show you guys. So it's a chapter by chapter um, companion devotional. So for all the 42 chapters in the novel, we have a scripture, we have the snippet there, a line from the chapter, we have a meditation, and then <clears throat> and then you have a journaling prompt, a prayer, and an affirmation. But I'll show you guys how cool the paperback one looks. And then at the end there, you've got a call to surrender, which I always put at the end of all my books. And then um, a plea to leave a review, a free short story for people to join my newsletter about the author. So that's the very last bit and it's got all my socials there. So I'm going to switch back to Canva and I'll show you guys what the paperback looks like. So we're back on Canva and actually I got this journaling template from a friend of mine. She shared it with me because she was using it for her, um, her own companion devotional and journal, I think for her debut novel um, and I'll leave her name on the screen thank you so much girl um, but basically I did change quite a few things obviously I'm not using the exact same like template that she gave me but as you can see I added like all of these things here and I like the paperback version here on Canva because it's got these borders and obviously it's got like the scripture there on this thing and then it's got the bubble for the um, the snippet from the book like the one line from the chapter that you're reading and then obviously it's got the journaling pages so it's got that so that's the difference that you would have between the paperback and the ebook so i removed this part from the ebook because obviously you're not going to be writing on the ebook you're probably going to have a separate journal but actually if you buy the paperback then you can actually just answer the questions and journal straight into the book so that's what it looks like and then this is the full paperback wrap i'm so excited um yeah so i just need to just upload everything onto kdp draft digital ingram spark and just make sure that everything fits i'm so excited so i just got the proof the e-proof from ingram spark and i'm just looking at the full cover wrap with the barcode and everything and i'm just so proud of myself I can't believe that I actually made this cover. I am super, super proud of myself and I can't wait to actually hold this book in person and just see how it's going to be. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. So I have uploaded the book on um, Amazon and um, I have basically scheduled the release. So Amazon is now doing this thing where it's not technically a paperback pre-order, but you can actually schedule 
um, the release of your paperback so actually say that I want it to be released on this day so I've scheduled the release for November 27th which is you know a few days before the actual ebook release but um, it's just basically reviewing the files when it finishes reviewing it I am going to now be able to order an author copy so yeah so i'm i'm looking forward to that so yeah you guys it's been a long time since i updated this vlog but that's because nothing has really been happening but i wanted to say that there was a bit of a snag with ingram spark and um amazon <laughs> you know in the last clip i told you guys that i had uploaded the books or the files on amazon and i was basically trying to um you know do that new thing that kdp is doing where you can uh, schedule the release date for the paperback before doing that i had already submitted everything on ingram spark and ingram spark had approved all the files and set it up for pre-order so i didn't know that when you submit everything on ingram spark that's the pre-order process like when you say enable for distribution that's the pre-order process it's not like kdp where it's you know you click like make it available for pre-order so then that means that I went on Amazon. So um, KDP sent me an email saying that they can't make the book available, like they can't schedule the release date because the book is already on Amazon. And I was like, what do you mean it's already on Amazon? So I went on Amazon and I saw that the paperback was available for pre-order. And that's because K um, Ingram Spark put it there. Because, you know, even though KDP doesn't do paperback pre-orders, but Ingram Spark does. So it's available for pre-order on uh, i didn't plan to make it available for pre-order because i never do paperback pre-orders but apparently it is and it's also available for pre-order on barnes and noble because ingram spark put it on barnes and noble as well so i didn't go direct on, the, on these platforms the only thing is that on barnes and noble the ebook and the paperback are connected because i i, I uploaded the ebook via draft to digital but then on um amazon they're separate like they're not linked and I don't know why. And also on Amazon.com, it says that both the ebook and paperback are not available for purchase. I don't know why. So I need to, yeah, I need to email Amazon and I need to email Ingram Spark. Although I don't know if they're going to help. <laughs> but I was not sure if I could actually get a proof copy because I couldn't get it via KDP anymore because KDP, um, yeah they, they were not in charge of like putting the people back on amazon so i had to do it via ingram spark but anyway so i've ordered a an author copy of ingram spark or like a proof copy i've ordered it it's coming on the 20th of november which is in two days time i'm so excited i had to pay like a rush fee and i had to pay like um an additional fee to make them ship it like quickly or dispatch it quickly so something that i could have ordered from amazon for like two pounds something i ended up paying for 10 like i ended up paying 10 pounds <laughs> on ingram spark but i'm just glad that it's gonna come before the release day so i can check the files and just make sure everything is okay um and then if there's anything that needs to be changed needs to be tweaked hopefully i can make just changes um so yeah there you go that's the update for now you guys okay so today is the 22nd of november and yesterday i actually received the proof copy from um ingram spark and my husband and i are going to be visiting some friends this evening hence why i'm all dolled up but i just wanted to show you guys oh my days it's so pretty okay so this is the first cover, as you guys can see. I might turn the camera around and show you guys a bit later, but I just thought I'd include this footage since I've got the camera all set up because I want to record a video for YouTube. Um, yeah, I thought I might as well just use the fact that I'm all dolled up to create a video that I've been wanting to do. Um, the video is how I market my books as an indie author. By the time you're watching this video, this video would be up already by God's grace, so you can go on the channel and watch it. Um, and I'll probably leave the link up here in the cards but this is the book so something is wrong with it and that's the spine like this front cover bleeds into the spine as you can see so that's something that I need to arrange or try to fix um, and then what I've done is I noticed that I could this space is too empty and I don't like that um, I've just got my debut novel here the one who knows me so this is the 
companion devotional and journal to the one who knows me as you can see um so you can see here the spine everything centers around perfectly and you can see the love qualified press logo down there so because the spine is too thin to put the love qualified press logo what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to put it here so i need to tweak the cover files and what i need to do is the blue line here i need to drag that or move it around i need to do something but anyway it looks good i'm just going to show you guys the inside that's the title page there um this is the this book belongs to you can write that there that's the copyright page and then you've got the dedication page there um and then also by joan and Bella, you can see the list there it's growing we thank god um and then you've got the introduction which is just one page there then you now have the chapter by chapter sort of like devotional and i'll show you guys what chapter one looks like so it's like this this is how every day looks it's just on one page it fits on one page like that so you've got chapter one you've got a scripture that's the meditation there you've got a snippet from the book itself and then and then you've got the journaling prompt here and you can journal and at the end here you've got a prayer and an affirmation so that's what it looks like i'm gonna bring it a bit closer so you guys can see i designed this on canva guys i'm so proud of myself oh my gosh this is so pretty i love it i love the interior and i love the fact that it all fits um you can do a lot of things on canva guys i'm so excited and obviously at the end you've got a call to surrender and then a plea to leave a review and then a call like a free short story that i offer that's the reader magnet to join my newsletter and i i've got an about the author page and that's it that's the end so there is my devotional and journal and so yeah there you go it's a devotional and journal to this one i'm so excited so i'm gonna try and make those tweaks on the cover file and then i'll update you guys on what i have to do next um yeah you guys it is the 2nd of december and it is release day okay so i'm just going to include release day into this vlog because i wanted it to, to be just like behind the scenes and as you guys know i normally do like release day separately but because I, there's a lot of things i have to update you guys about like behind the scenes and today's release day already and i haven't been doing a good job of um updating you guys i'm just going to include release day as well but um before this as you when this vlog goes live my um companion devotional and journal to my debut novel the god who knows me um is live and all the links will be down below this is the the novel that it's a companion to it has been i have a lot of updates to give you guys about like ingram spark and the paperbacks and kdp and all of that but i am just going to put you guys on pause for a second because i have to take some photos that i'll get ready to post on social media and include in my newsletter because my newsletter goes live at 12 and i'm also going to be doing a live bible study at 12 which is literally like 40 minutes like in 40 minutes i'm going to be doing a live bible study um where we're going to be looking at galatians chapter 4 we're going to be studying galatians chapter 4 um after that when the live bible study is finished i'm going to come back and i'm going to update you guys so it's release day i'm gonna take some photos and do a live bible study and then i'm gonna come back and update you so guys this is the behind the scenes of the live stream this is the living room i found my new setup the lighting works really well um i have just scheduled the um uh email the newsletter basically the one that's gonna go out um this is the one that's gonna go out in a few minutes this is a release day newsletter i literally just took the photos like sitting on the couch but it's got all the links there it's gonna go out to people um and just some other links i didn't really put anything new in the newsletter apart from just providing people with the links because with the release day newsletters i just want them to be about the book that's been released so yeah there you go that's gonna go out in a few minutes and then this is the um live stream basically hi <laughs> so i use Streamyard to do the live bible studies and live streams it streams directly on youtube this is my bible here we're going to be studying galatians chapter 4 and these are my notes here and those are the two books there which i'm going to be referencing too i don't know why i chose to do this live stream on release day but anyway i think 
God, this is a time that God, you know, provided for me to be able to do this. So I'm going to do it by God's grace. I'm going to talk to you guys after the live stream. You guys, I just finished the live stream and it was nice. Um, I actually had some people that actually joined. I think we had like three people at some point. Um, but one of my um, regular commenters on YouTube, Tamara, Mallet, and um, I have seen some of her comments. She was there for like majority of it, and she was like commenting in the chat and um, following the Bible study was really quite nice. I miss doing live Bible studies. It's just that life just gets really overwhelming sometimes and stressful, and it's just really difficult to like schedule them. But we've just finished Galatians chapter four. I don't think we'll have time to do chapters five and six this year since we're already in December. But I'm hoping to finish that in the new year and hopefully it will be a bit more of a regular thing. Maybe like once a month for us to do like a live Bible study. But God willing, God willing, I really hope that I'll be able to do that because I really love doing them. Um, so yeah, that's done. And I'm now going to just post on Instagram. I, the newsletter has gone out. Um, and so I'm going to now post on Instagram and then i will come back and, <laughs> and just you guys basically yeah okay guys so i have finished sharing all the links and i thought i would come on here and do a final wrap up for this vlog because i am so excited um and i just wanted to give you guys the gist of what has been going on with ingram spark so I probably might have told you in the last clip that I was struggling to get either KDP or Ingram Spark to link the paperback and my ebook on Amazon. So I don't think they're going to help me because I, I messaged um, KDP. They said that they can't help me because Ingram Spark is the one who put the paperback on Amazon. I messaged Amazon. They said, well, we didn't publish the Kindle, so we can't link the two. Um, <laughs> And then it's release day and it's still saying that the paperback is not in uh, is not in stock on um, amazon.com it's in stock everywhere else it's just really annoying because it's release day and I don't want people who normally buy from Amazon to go on there and they're not able to order it obviously it's on Barnes & Noble but it's not on amazon.com and so yesterday I emailed in, um, Ingram Spark and I was like can you please sort this out i don't know if they're going to <laughs> but yeah it's just i'm just trying not to worry about it because it's it's still available in a wide range of places so maybe hopefully if people don't buy from amazon.com they can buy from barnes noble or lots of other places available in lots of other places and the ebook is available as well anyway i'm not going to let that take away from the joy of the fact that this is my fifth book you guys i just published my fifth book like I've got two devotionals now and three novels and I'm just so grateful to God for the strength. Um, who would have thought that I'll be able to publish more than one book in a year? Like the fact that God strengthened me, gave me the inspiration. Like I wrote this book this year. I started writing it in March. I finished the first draft in like September or so. And then after I finished the first draft of the um the fourth book in the Christian romance series. I went back and edited it and formatted it, did the cover, everything. And it's finally here, guys. I was learning a lot about like cover design, about like how to upload covers on, um, make covers on like on um, Canva and stuff like that and upload it to KDP. Yeah, I'm just so grateful to God. And I, I can't wait for you guys to read this. I hope that it blesses and encourages you. That's the only thing that I pray for, that it blesses and encourages you, and that it still reminds you and encourages you to um, embrace um, and experience God's love in a greater dimension. That's what I always pray for my books. Um, moving forward, I suppose what I might do, <laughs> I'm supposed I'm just waiting for like the release date, like this release week or so. I might remove the book from Ingram Spark. I might ask them to remove it, like take it down. So they're going to remove it from Amazon. And then I'll publish the paperback through Amazon so that it's going to be linked. So that the paperback will be linked to it because it really annoys me that they're not linked. Like, I can't tell you how much it annoys me. Like, I, when you search for the book, you only see the ebook or you only see the paperback. Or you don't see both of them together. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be linked. And I don't know why Ingram Spark has done this. But anyway, like I said, we're going to be joyful and we're going to be grateful. I'm not going to rant or let this, you know, discourage me today because it's release day and I'm going to celebrate. Um, 
yeah so basically that's what i might do so i'm just gonna wait maybe a couple of weeks or so maybe a month maybe in the new year that's probably what i'm gonna do and there's no option to like delete it on ingram so you're probably gonna have to message them or something they're just so long <laughs> at least now i've learned my lesson now i know not to click that button like to submit everything to enable distribution because once i do that they're gonna put it on amazon and then i, I don't have any control over the paperback so i've learned my lesson i'm glad that this is not with like one of the novels i know obviously this is an important book to me the devotion is important but i'm glad that it's also not with like one of the novels where it would have been like a much bigger hassle and i've been i would have been a lot more like stressed if it was like a, a novel which is like a longer piece of work obviously this is a lot shorter um so yeah i just thought i would come in here and give you guys my final thoughts yes there's still a lot of things that i don't know whether ingram swag is gonna do this thing about it being out of stock on amazon i don't know whether it's just a waiting game but i choose to be joyful because god has been great god has been faithful and now i am a published author published indie author of five books and that's all to the glory of god i did not take it for granted so if you have read or you have not yet read my debut novel the one who knows me if you're gonna pick it up if you're gonna read it again just make sure to grab the devotional because i'm sure you're going to be blessed as well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a lovely day please like subscribe and share if you would like to support me in monetary ways i have a uh, buy me a coffee account um i know i have a kofi account i think it's called a kofi i have a kofi account and you can buy me a coffee by basically you know pledging anything any amount as little as one dollar or one pound the link is down below please share um with anybody that you think that might benefit from this video check out my books they're all links down below and remember that the sovereign love of god has qualified you to be his beloved one Mwah. bye